How do y'all want Lex Lives? I think it's time to play a little Seven Days to Die. Uh, so, I want to uh, check out inside this building here today, and then we'll get out of this town. This is a uh, weird looking, I think it's like a sewer works or something. I was kind of hoping there'd be a path through the inside, but it's very... Uh -huh. I found a path to the inside. It's very, uh... Crap. Whoa. Nice. Not sure where that guy came from, but nice. Wow, that was a long search. It's weird. Maybe it's not a sewage place. There's soldiers and hazmat guys. Hey, he didn't even swing at me. I just took damage from staying on that car. What the heck? Okay, that one I that one I deserved. Hey. Okay, I probably deserved one there too, but I didn't get it, so I'll pretend it didn't happen. Uh, so, uh, usually today, on uh, this particular Friday episodes, I talk about, um, what, uh, my Tuesday D&D &D night, I think? We, uh, we have completed... We have completed the campaign. Um, I th think the plan is to move on to another one. But, uh, we'll see. I... I don't doubt that we'll move on to another one. I just wonder how long it will take. Um, because the guy who's running it is very... I don't know. I don't know how to... The guy who runs it is like... He likes that he has a book. And he likes that... Uh, not only does he have a book, but we play in an online format. In the online format, someone already made the maps for the particular campaign we ran. And... Um, and so all he has to do is load up the maps, basically. And... Look at this door hidden back here. How bad are you to knock open? 8,000. That's pretty bad. Um, and so now that we're... Uh, oh, I didn't jump! I pushed the jump button, but he didn't jump. That's 10,000 to get through. Do I have a splint on me? No. I don't have any cloth on me either. Can I, uh... Scrap those into cloth and make a splint? No, because I only got one back. Oh, dude, do I not have my bedroll down? not only do I not have my bedroll down, but I have no bedrolls locked in place, and I would have respawned all the way back at the beginning of the game, I think. That would not be good. Um, but, uh, so we're done with that. We're done with the pre-made content that he had access to. And so now... If we do anything else, 
either he has to put the maps together or um or uh you know I think he said uh he wanted us to switch to another platform because the other oh crap because the other platform has um the maps and stuff for the campaigns purchasable so that he wouldn't have to make the maps it like he already has the campaigns he just doesn't want to take the time to do the maps and uh so we'll see. We'll see if he has anything ready to go next week or not. Uh, like I said, I have my... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's my gun. It's my gun. I found my gun. Come on, dude. I found a sniper rifle. I found two sniper rifles. <laughs> what the heck? It's like Christmas. It's Christmas here. I found two sniper rifles. One was a 246 and one was a 248. Um Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I just, I don't have any food for you. Sorry. You're out of luck. I can get you some water to drink, though. Almost all that, too, though. So. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, oh, let me tell you. We started off with, uh, uh, it's been a busy work week for me. And, in fact, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to be with my gaming group right now, and I didn't get done with work till so late that recording is now pushed well into gaming group time. But we're not doing anything super special tonight, so they can play for a bit without me. We're not doing any... I mean, we probably will do multiplayer stuff when I get there, but they do other multiplayer stuff till I'm ready. And, uh, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man... Crap. These guys are twitchy. I'm terrible aim against... Dude, I know... There's so many of them. Run. Are you dead? Okay. Um. But so Tuesday night, Tuesday night was also really busy, and uh, we don't get started on Tuesday night usually until, you know, whenever the guy who runs Tuesday night decides to show up. Um, like I'm not required for tonight's gaming session. They can have it with me or without me. It's just something I routinely attend. Um, and honestly, we don't start sometimes until 11 p.m. with that thing. So um, They're not very good at starting at a particular time either. Uh, so I don't feel bad about not being there for the beginning of it. I just see they started just as I was recording, so... Uh, which is why I know they're they're going, but I'm pretty sure the thing they're playing is a two-player game, which doesn't include me. So <laughs> I ain't worried about it. I'll get there when I get there. Anyways, so Tuesday night, Tuesday night's busy night for me, and I uh, I didn't get finished with stuff until close to 9:30, and I'll probably be out 9:30 tonight too when I'm done and ready to join these other guys. Whoa. Looking at here.
There's gotta be another way down to that. I'm not dropping down where I can't get back out of, right? Um, but, uh, still about 9 o'clock. I'm still working on stuff, and I've got the chat program open, and he sends me a message. The guy who runs the Tuesday night thing. And it says, yo. That's all it says. Yo. I don't know what that means. Uh, he's never ready to go when he gets home from work, or whatever it is he's wandering around doing. So I wasn't worried about it. I thought he was just letting us know that he was uh, home. And, uh, and usually it's about 45 minutes after that when he's ready to go. So I was in no hurry to finish what I was working on. And, uh, and then uh, we get another message that says, uh, I think I have everything ready to go for tonight. Not a message saying uh, we want to start soon or anything like that. Just... Uh-oh. Okay, I looked over there. I did not see that guy. Oh, he can't fit through the doorway? Because, you know, if he went through the doorway, that would make my life so much easier. <laughs> that was scary. Where are these guys coming from? Oh, they must be, uh, they must have heard my shots, right? Because they weren't there two seconds ago. Um, so... I keep wanting to hit F5 to save my game, because I've been playing other games that have saves all day. Well, okay, when I say all day, the last game I recorded today, because I've only played one other game today. All day. All day, the 30 minutes before this game. Um, and, uh, so, uh, then he sends us a message that the server is up and ready to go. So I assume that means he's ready to start. And so I still had about eight or ten minutes I had to finish, and uh, nice. And uh, so finish that off because he still hadn't said what time we were starting. Because usually he says we're gonna start in thirty minutes or something. Uh, and so then uh, finally it's a missile silo. Interesting. This is not something I've seen before. Uh, it seems to be multiple levels. This will be interesting to search through. Uh, let me... Nope, that's the wrong key. Let me uh, get this map thing. Uh, I need quests off my screen so I can see what's going on with my time and stuff. Uh, and so, uh, that's where I came in, right? Yeah. Okay, well then let's take the ladder down here. Aww. There does appear to be other levels to this, so... At least one more level down there. This is awesome. So, uh... He finally tells us he's ready to get started. I finish, uh, about the same time. I log in, and then he said he had to go for 20 minutes. <laughs> Why are you 
sending all the messages that you're ready to start if you're not ready to start. It's like I've been rushing to get stuff done. And then you say you're ready to go, but like normal, you're ready to go actually means you're ready for us to sit there and wait for you. Uh... And uh, so we get we get started, and we we basically we basically uh, cleared most of the most of the um, bosses for the dungeon that finishes up the campaign we were on uh, last week, and so we just were supposed to be clearing out the dungeon and collecting whatever was left over. And uh, so uh, we... Uh, we... Uh, go ahead and get in there, and uh, my guy's got a special ability that has the potential... Uh, oh, I'm out of feathers. Wow. Uh, it has the potential to kill undead creatures, like zombies. And um, so I, uh, I'd been saving it because there's there were skeletons, but skeletons are pretty easy. Uh, and so I wanted to take on I wanted to take on zombies because zombies are a little tougher than skeletons uh, just a little bit and so I uh, I had saved it for that moment when we we hit up zombies and so as we're going around we hit the uh, Is making those pounding noises. And um, so, anyways, uh, we uh, <laughs> we get to the room uh, with what's basically the final boss. For us, because we've killed everything else in the dungeon. And hello, Vera seeds. I don't think I have any of those. Actually, I must have jumped down from above. And um. they do over here so they uh, uh, so we get in there and he has all the zombies and the flame skull which are the main boss uh, group up around us and um, and I'm like yes because uh, my ability to destroy the undead requires them to be within 30 feet of me. And so that is what I wanted. Was undead within 30 feet of me. You did. And um, so I ran in and cast my turn undead ability. And uh, killed seven of the eight zombies outright. And, uh, and the flame skull which was probably the one of the worst things in the dungeon. That is a cop zombie. And um oh. Oh man, this is 
This is not good. So much. I feel like things are trying to dig into me too. I also feel like I can't hit what I'm aiming at here. All right, here we go. Crap. One of these days, I'm gonna learn to hit the things I'm aiming at. Ooh. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it goes out, but it's not helpful. That's okay, they didn't gather up below me anyways. Ugh. You dang twitch, you zombies. to hit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Wasting all my steel tip crossbow bolts. That one hit. Wow. Okay. Biker. A guy. A guy. I would tell you, dude, you're kind of in the worst spot. Terrible for me to shoot here, so. Okay. Whew. Uh, so anyway, so uh, he wasn't happy with that, and uh, and so we were able to just demolish the the flame skull, which is really tough, and then um, and then he said, uh, it, "You seem to have killed it," and I'm like, "Oh, all right." So we seem to have killed it. Uh, does it seem like it's gonna get back up then? And uh, he had us roll for it, and. Uh, and the other guy rolled a, a big score, and so we were able to determine that, yes, it would get back up if we didn't do something, and so, um, I was going to, uh, cast a spell on it, but, uh, uh, the other guy had some holy water and dumped on it, which apparently did it in, so that was what we needed. And uh, so that ended the flame skull. And uh, then we fought a few other things. And then when we got to the end, um, anybody else hear an explosion? I feel like I just heard an explosion. Uh, but uh, so we get to the end, and um, 
All that's left is is. Uh, by this point, I had looked over the book uh, for the campaign uh, so that I could compare, you know, what he was doing to what the campaign said, just to see how he changed things up. And, um, you know, I knew he was changing some things around. And uh, and so I knew we only had one thing left to kill. Um, I didn't play it out like I knew where anything was. You know, I walked willingly into traps and stuff like that if I didn't think my guys would roll for it or anything, even if I knew they were there. Ooh, that's, uh, maybe necessary. Uh, and, um, and so we, uh, we get to the spot for the last... Okay, no, no. Um, so we fight our way through the whole, the whole thing, right? And, um, a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago while playing, he said uh, he had uh, undead on either side of his character, and he said undead aren't smart enough to take advantage of flanking. And so he did not use flanking against his guy. And this is a recurring problem that we have with him, is that his guy never gets attacked. And uh, so uh, we... Uh, So me and the other guy, we've got a private chat window open, and we are just... Uh, it's hard not to laugh out loud, because um, every time in combat, his guy would come up, attack, and then run away around the corner and leave the wizard, the cleric, and the thief to stand there while his fighter hid. Uh... And uh, just repeatedly, over and over and over. And um, so uh, so we were getting a pretty good kick out of that, uh, out of the fact that he was hiding every turn. And then we got to this room full of undead. And he had the undead who were scattered across the room march directly so that they pinned three of the four characters on both sides and then all of the undead took advantage of flanking against our characters and we're like i thought undead didn't take advantage of flanking well these are these are, are better undead so so they might still remember how to take advantage of flanking and i'm like but your guy hit them wouldn't they uh you know go after your guy well, your guys are closer, and, and I feel like Undead, which have moved away from his characters in the past to attack other people's players. I feel like Undead would attack the closest thing, and, uh... I don't need coffee seeds. Um, uh, and, uh... So I'm like, yep, yep, it's just what I expect. In fact, I told the guy before it got to the bad guy's turn, and I'm like, you watch, they're going to move up on either side of us and use flanking, even though he said they wouldn't ever do that. And uh, and sure enough, that's what he does, and I can hear... I can hear the other guy uh, almost... Or I can hear the other guy trying to choke back laughter because, you know, we're on headsets, and, uh, and we're sending text messages to each other uh, about what's going on. And... Uh, Come on. Die. Die. Hey, club, when I swing at something's head, you're supposed to hit it in the head. Not just whiff in the air. This broken leg is not helping things. Where's this last zombie I'm hearing? Uh, and so, uh, so then we get up to, we get up to, uh, the second to last section in the, in the game, and his guy has not been attacked a single time the entire night. Every monster goes for our characters first, every time. You know, I can just dig this out if I want through here. Instead of going all the way back around. This is pretty cool, I really like this bunker. Uh, this is kind of awesome. 
Okay, yeah, I changed my mind. I don't want to dig this out. It's taking too long. <clears throat> and, um, am I infected with the thing that says I can't be infected? Why is that a thing? I'm infected and can't be infected at the same time. Uh... But, uh... So, uh... So we get we get to the second to last section, and there are the sm three... Three guys are there, and those three guys attack us, and one of them takes one swing at his character, and it's the only attack his character experienced against him the entire night. Every other attack from... 35 or so creatures attacked either my characters or the other guy's characters over and over. And so we were just dying laughing at that point. Uh, well, not out loud laughing, but trying to hide our laughter at the fact that once again, the mighty fighter uh, had to hide. Uh, while the non-fighters all picked up the slack. Not that the game is designed that the non-fighters can't take hits. Um, just, you know, if you're thinking about... If you're thinking about the mighty Kung Fu warrior, I feel like running away to hide every fight is not their style. Like, he's not a ninja, uh, you know, that strikes out of the darkness or something. No, he's a hand-to-hand -hand kung fu expert who hides every every round. He doesn't use the hide ability. He just runs around corners so the bad guys don't come after him because obviously they would go for the closest guy, um, is what he says. Even though he's the only one to have hit them uh, and then runs away, it's always our guys they come for. So anyways, so after that, uh, he... Uh, we're coming up to, uh... Where did you come from? We're coming up to, um... The final section of the cave that we haven't been through yet. And it's supposed to be, uh, this, uh, slime. Uh, and I had already told the other guy that it was coming up because he said, man, I hope this dungeon's about done. And I'm like, yeah, 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 we only got, like, one section left after this, and it's, you know, I sent him a link to what it was. And so as soon as, soon as we get there, he's like, all right, I need to know what everybody's marching order is going in here. And uh, up to this point, his character had always gone uh, in the back. Um... And uh, the other characters had... Well, no, that's not true. Uh, but often his character was in the back when we were entering a room. If we were entering a room that had creatures, he would always position his character in the back. And if we were entering a room that uh, had treasure, then his character was in the front. Uh, in fact, he did a thing where he... Uh, uh, even though we succeeded on our searches for treasure, he didn't let us have it and um, held off until we got into another section. And then when his character rolled uh, rolled high, um, he let his character find it in another room instead of letting our characters find it where it was supposed to be. Uh, well, you guys didn't roll a 20 in that other room. It doesn't say anything about that in the book. He just didn't want us to find the thing. Um, I don't know why he's so obsessed with having to have all the magic items. But, uh, so, so, uh, the last couple of rooms, he had just gone ahead and had his guy up at the front. And, uh, and then we get to this section and, or, or at the back, I mean, um, because there were bad guys in the rooms and he wanted our guys to go in first. And, uh, and then that one, his guy can come in after we've already engaged the mobs and they won't attack him because we were there first kind of thing. And, uh, so, all of a sudden he's like, uh, alright, my guy's gonna go second. He just said that, right off the bat. Like, no, what's your order, no, my guy's going second. And, uh, so I sent the guy a link, I'm like, uh, to, to what it says, and it says that the, the jelly, uh, what, that we're about to fight, which is a slime, uh, will attack, uh, 
players who go off on their own. And I said, uh, he is totally going to make this guy attack whoever's in the rear. And so I put my guy with the most armor in the rear. And uh, sure enough, uh, we move just a little bit, and he's blocking all the things, so we can't even see where we're going. And he's like, you guys are going to have to trust me in here. I'll tell you what you can see, even though there's a map. He's obsessed with not letting us be able to see the map. And... Uh, we, we can't see the map. Uh, he's always changing the order we're in, so his guy doesn't get into combat. He's always running away. He's always searching and finding the treasures. He always rolls a 20 every time there's something special. And uh, uh, and so, uh, sure enough, I get attacked from behind by the slime. Uh, and uh, so the other, guy, I, the other guy actually laughed at that point out loud. Uh, yeah. Which uh, then started me almost wanting to laugh, and uh, so we kill the thing, and then he uh, he's like, now you hear this loud rumbling, so he's added something, and so I don't even know what's coming, and um, uh, I really have no idea. And he's like, I'm sure you already figured it out, uh, since you sent there with the books open. I'm like, nope, I don't have any books open. Uh, for I don't have the monster manual open, is what he's referring to. So I have no idea, and uh, and then he wants us to hide, and he wants us to roll stealth, and um, and then of course he uh, he attacks my my cleric with it and tries to kill my cleric with it uh, because it obviously rolled really well to attack. Um, but you know what? My cleric turned around and also rolled really well to attack and did 62 damage to it. Uh, it was an earth elemental. And, uh, and it hit us pretty hard. Um, but, uh, yeah, we finished that off. So now we'll have to see. Come on. I want to see what's in this room here. Oh, you're dead. All right. And I think this was pretty much all of the bunker. First one of these I've seen. Uh, I did not realize it was a missile silo, not a bunker. Um, I can see through there. Huh. Interesting. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, uh, we might check out, if I remember, the uh, big skyscraper, because I've never been in one of those either before we move on. Um, but we'll have to see. And uh, I'll definitely, definitely have to let you know uh, how... Uh, how next Tuesday's D&D goes if we have it again. It's just, it's bizarrely crazy how hard he goes out of his way not to not to uh, let his guy be attacked and do extra damage to our characters. Um, like, it's a thing. Like, I didn't even start the conversation this week. The other guy did, sending me messages about how crazy it was that his character would run up, attack the things that we had almost killed, kill them and then run away leaving us with the guys who hadn't been attacked yet uh it just kept happening over and over and over it was it was beyond silly at that point i should probably look into my skill points here yeah yeah look at that i got uh i got some skill points to spend here let's go ahead and get uh i wanted to see if i've got enough points to go up in um, I totally wasn't looking for it I do right here let's go ahead and get the next one of those uh, probably put a round into better lead than dead oh definitely need a point into quality Joe 
How many points does that leave me? 36. Uh, let's go ahead and get some points into gunsmithing then. All right, and uh, and I'm gonna call it here. So click like if you like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one. I will talk to you later.